So for the third question is, uh, we look at the separately excited DC motor and we know that it's different by construction with um, a shunt DC motor in which shunt, in, in, the, in the case of shunt DC motor, both field circuit and armature circuit share the same terminal voltage. Okay? While in separately excited DC motor, uh, the armature voltage has a different voltage uh, than a field uh, circuit. So the field circuit has its own voltage and the armature circuit has its own voltage. Now, uh, in this equation, you see that there is an overflow of information. You might use it, you might not use it. So it's, it's very important for you to be um, uh, intelligent in, in uh, selecting the value that you need for your calculation. Okay. So the first question it asks is what is the maximum no load speed attainable by varying both V A and R adjusted? And we know that for a speed control in in separately excited DC motor is uh, if we have a maximum voltage, okay, you will have a maximum speed, and uh, a maximum R adjusted also you will have a maximum speed because you have the 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 the, the smallest I F because of the uh, maximum R adjusted, okay. So the maximum speed will occur when we will have maximum VA and maximum RF. Okay. So where if um, R adjusted is maximum, so it is obviously 400 ohms ah, because it can be adjusted from uh, 100 to 400. Okay. So the maximum is 400. So we know that uh, the field current when R adjusted is 400 is Vt over R adjusted plus Rf, which is, um, or v, not Vt, Vf, okay. So Vf is um, uh, 240 volts, okay. And R adjusted is 400 ohm plus Rf is um, 75 ohm. Okay, and that will give you 240 volts divided by 475 ohm, 0 0.505 ampere. Okay, so this is the field current when R adjusted is 400 ohm. Now, if you take a look at the magnetization curve, okay, I'll just, I'll just close up. Okay, for 0 0.505, we're looking at somewhere here. Okay, we're looking at somewhere here okay 505 we're looking at somewhere here and um, the voltage here is actually from the graph if you plot it is 167 okay so 167 all right okay so um e that we have when field current is actually 0 0.505 is 167 volts okay so this 167 volts is actually uh happens or you get 167 volts at the speed of 1800 rpm okay because this 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 graph is plotted at the speed of 1800 rpm so with this amount of uh, field current you will get 167 if the motor is running at 1800 rpm okay so what it asks is a no load speed okay now um at no load condition okay at no load condition at no load we know that the maximum internal generated voltage that we can have is 240 volts, right? So maximum VA that we can have is 240 volts because it says here the armature voltage that can be varied from 120 volts to 240 volts. So obviously maximum is 240 volts. So to get the speed that we want, we know that from EA no load divided by N no load is equals to the EA for the speed that we want to know and the speed itself lah. okay so the value is um, for EA at no load is 240 volts okay we don't know yet 
uh, this no load speed we know that uh, the speed that we have uh, sorry the ea that we have at 1800 is 167 volts um, at 1800 rpm so this will give you the value lah, okay so it would be uh, 240 divided by 167 times 1800 rpm this will give you the answer okay so this is the maximum speed that we have um, what are the minimum speed so the minimum speed will be attained if we have um, minimum VA and minimum R adjusted okay so minimum VA and minimum R adjusted okay so the R adjusted at minimum is 100 ohm okay so obviously the field current at this um, adjusted field resistance is 240 volts divided by 100 plus 75 ohm and this will be one give you 1.37 ampere so this is the field current lah. all right now if we take a look at again for 1.37 ampere at this uh, graph so 1.37 um is here right so i will try to kind of give you the idea so 1.37 is approximately here so as we go up 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 it will give you this value lah. okay so this is um actually around 271 okay Okay, so if we have 271 uh, volts there, okay, EA is actually 271 volts at 1800 RPM, okay, because of the graph lah, okay. So with the field current of 1.37 ampere, you will have internal generated voltage of 271 volt volts at 1800 RPM. So we will use the same equations. So EA at no load divided by N at no load. And EA at this speed that we just find out and the speed that this uh, voltage that we uh, attain. Okay. So same, the EA at uh, no load condition, not the same. Okay. So for, for, for minimum no load speed, obviously we will look at minimum VA. And VA can be varied between 120 and 20, 240 volts. So minimum VA is 120 volts. Okay. So the equation now becomes 120 volts divided by we don't know yet. This is what we want to find out, the no load speed. And then we know that we will attain 271 volts with this adjusted uh, resistance of 100 ohm at 1800 RPM. Okay. So the no load speed now becomes... 200, it's 120 volts divided by 271 volts times 1800 rpm okay so if we calculate that we will get 797 rpm okay and in comparison if you calculate this we will get 2586 rpm okay so this is the minimum no load speed that we will have with this machine and maximum no load speed that we will have this machine. So we're, we're looking at if we don't connect anything to the shaft with the amount of adjusted resistance and adjusted uh, armature voltage, we will get very different speed. Okay, so depends on your application. Sometimes this is a good thing because uh, you have um, such a wide variation of speed. Uh, to be used for your uh, different applications only with the same machine okay